Columbia Medellin nightlife? Ha <laughs> ha ha! What do you mean you don't know anything about it? What's the hype? Ha ha ha! Don't worry, I got you. I will explain everything. Let's go! What's up, it's your boy, this is Ace Live. I'm back again to give you guys another awesome video. Today I will be talking about Medellin Nightlife. If, without a doubt, if you Google that term, Medellin Nightlife, Medellin Nightlife in Parque Lleras, Medellin Nightlife in Poblado, you will see a video or a picture of a beautiful woman heading to the club. And I'm here to tell you, for the most part, the hype is real. As you guys may know, I was living in Medellin for three months, so I had enough exposure of the nightlife. And so today, I just want to talk to you about a couple of things. Because I do notice when you Google those terms, you just see videos. But there's no one there They really give you a good explanation, more detail into what to expect if you do travel to Colombia. First things first, the reason why Medellin nightlife can be so desirable is because of the fact that it's super cheap. And you could be partying with some beautiful women at the same time. So why not? I actually tell people, if you like, you planning your birthday, you might as well go travel to Colombia and party there as opposed to going to a club and wasting dollars on one bottle when you can actually spend a whole weekend and have a great time for that same budget or even less. It's something to consider. As a matter of fact, you can purchase bottles in Medellin for as low as $40, $30 depending on what venue you go to. So today I will be giving you guys some general information about areas you might want to consider going if you do plan on your trips and things you might, you should know about Medellin all right in the future I will be giving more detailed information so if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button I guarantee you you won't want to miss this info stick to the end of this video because I might have some bonus <laughs> information for you first thing first if you talk to a Colombian they this is what they want people to know about Medellin nightlife it is not only in Parque Lleras, all right? If you Google Medellin Light Life, you'll be directed to Parque Lleras for the most part because it's like a tourist area. There's a lot of hotels there and it's convenient for tourists to actually walk to these clubs. But there are a lot of different locations in Colombia you can go to and I'm gonna just go over a couple of them. But before I do that, I, there's a couple of things I want you to know. The best days to come out in Medellin Nightlife is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There's something to do every single night, but you have more of a larger crowd Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and sometimes Sunday. Typically, what happens is people don't like to go out if they have to work the next day. Most people are off just Sunday. So you might find a bigger crowd of people coming out on Saturday night to enjoy the night. I did mention Sunday because I want you to get familiar with this rule that might help you out in the future. Colombia has this interesting thing called Le 51, which basically means, right, Law, Law 51, which means if a holiday lands in the middle of the week or at the end in the weekend, it automatically rolls to Monday, right? Because of that, there's a lot of holidays that are celebrated and are observed on a Monday. Colombians call it festival that whole act of what it happens if they call it festival and because of that you might find yourself visiting during a three um, day weekend and to me my opinion on that is like those are the best weekends to go out it's like Colombians are all in a good spirit and we all want to party all want to do something and step out so those are the nights that you want to catch if anything I would suggest if you are planning your trip check online to see if, you, if it coincides uh, the only days that don't really change are like your staple days like your Christmas and Easter so that's something to think about another thing that influences the Medellin nightlife is the weather because a lot of people like to take public transportation or taxis to get where they want to go especially at night they might think twice if it's raining so you think twice if, you, if you're booking a last minute trip and you see it's bad weather it might not be the best time to show up I do know when it stops raining people do still show up but that's something to consider all right if you are coming out this dress properly okay I'm, I'm talking to all you guys that I've seen you guys you come over there you don't even care about ironing your shirt you're looking like a mess and frankly the locals can tell they can tell and they look at you and they they'll look at you like come on man <laughs> and if you if you're trying to like have a wonderful time and like get the 
uh, attention of the women, your wallet's not going to be enough, all right? They'll see you right past your wallet. If you're not trying to look good, you're not shaving. You shave up, get a tape, you might have a beard, but get a nice tape, whatever whatever your style is, clean yourself up, brush your teeth, all that, and learn how to dress. The idea of dressing, you can wear t-shirts, you can wear button downs, alright, just make sure it's iron, if, you know, this jersey is something like a dead giveaway, I might be a tourist, depending on what day it is, because it might be a day that everybody wears the same jersey, but that's something to think about, but I give you an idea, like, what type of pants to wear, you can wear jeans, or some like some slacks that's one thing you can consider to wear also you can wear one of these button downs like this I'm gonna put it on for you guys hold on something like this it's not that bad actually if you look at it this is a nice button down I don't even have to be a, a long sleeve a little short a sleeve is fine whatnot but you don't want to be coming out looking like this see this is not uh, this is not acceptable the only way you would probably be wearing something like this is if you're in the beach environment so I know there's beaches in Colombia but if you're not in one of those city Medellin doesn't have any beaches so they, if you're wearing this or some shorts what is it would mean you you're heading to like a pool or you're going to work out other than that <laughs> they're gonna be looking at you like what are you doing this is not lifelike don't ask yourself why you're not lucky in <laughs> linking with the girls when you when you're just in like this all right another thing I want you to know about Medellin nightlife it's more of a social environment okay guys so uh, I just want you to think about that if you're trying traveling by yourself in hopes of meeting with a beautiful woman. It is totally possible, but because of it being a more of a social environment, a lot of people travel in groups, and so you have to come up with your own technique. I will give you a technique uh, how you can <laughs> try to talk to some of these ladies, all right? Because they'll be in their groups, and sometimes they don't want to um, spread out their group. Like You could be at a, cl a club, and if you notice there's a birthday going on, maybe you want to buy a bottle for them or something just to break the ice, and that'll get you into room for a, co a conversation with the group. And depending on you're like paying $30 for a bottle or a couple of drinks, a round of drinks for all the girls, it just, it just breaks the ice. It's something that you would probably do in the States. It's not that difficult, guys. And another thing is, guys, if you're worrying about, like, oh, if I can't dance, what about if I can't dance? You still have a chance of communicating with these women, okay? Like, there's a lot of karaoke clubs you can go to, guys. This is something, I'm telling you, major key. Go to the karaoke and prepare to sing your terrible song. I guarantee you will make a lot of people laugh, and you will open up some dialogue to get you in. <laughs> All right, guys. That's one thing I want you to consider, right? Now, let's get into a couple of areas I want you to know about. Obviously, Parque Yaris is the probably the most convenient place for tourists to go to because of the reasons I mentioned before, right? Not only that, there are mountains, um, mountains of different venues you can go to, hit venues, and some of them that you might be used to that are in the States. So it's something to consider. You got your, you got your dinner areas, your restaurants, you got your karaoke bars, you got your regular dance bar and you have your lounge and then you have just a bunch of people just hanging around the park area just having a, a conversation and just talking and just being sociable all right you can go in that area and not even have a penny and still have a wonderful time all right guys like i said in the future i'll talk about that so make sure you subscribe another place you might want to consider going is la setenta area la setenta La Sententa area does remind me of El Poblado area, but the way it's set up is totally different. It's more of a huge, long strip that you can walk down, pretty much, and it's filled with bars and clubs and um, and the restaurants as well. Uh, typically, people like to go there if they're going to watch a football game because La Sententa is so close to the stadium in Medellin, Colombia. So after the game, a lot of people walk from the stadium and go straight to La Sententa and finish their night or pre-game beforehand and as a matter of fact you might find a lot more Americans expats that are living in Medellin in that area as far as Poblado and the major differences is you will find a lot more tourists in the Poblado area all right it's just obvious that they would be there so if I tell someone if someone's looking for a more of an authentic non too much tourist area I would tell them to go to La Setenta because you get that same type of feel but with less tourists there. Another place I want you to consider to go is La Trenta y Tres, okay? Now, Trenta Tres is similar to La Setenta, but they're more, the it's it's like a long strip of bars, but 
I don't recommend you walking that whole strip because it's really long and it's just like blocks on top of blocks on top of blocks. It's a lot of walking. Typically, if you're going to a lot of 33 area, it's because you know what club you're going to, all right? You're not planning on club hopping. You would go to a particular club. I actually went to a club called California there and I had the, the best time ever. And you know, it, and it, clubs in Medellin are like clubs in the States and anywhere else. Every day is a different type of theme and probably running by a different type of promotion DJ. I actually went on a Saturday to this one club and it was amazing. The people basically came to party. It was like a straight up party club and I had a wonderful time. Now there's another club that um, I did go to and this is what I would recommend for more of the adventurous type. But you have to be the smart type if you wanted to go here because this one out of all the three I mentioned is not in a commercial area. It seems to be more of an oil in a, a home neighborhood types area like in a mini town in um, Colombia and it's called La Merinca 45. Basically in that area basically it's a bunch of houses and then they do have like one little block that has a bunch of bars in this one block. And what's amazing about this block is there's so many people riding their mopeds and park. It's like a bike hangout. I actually made a video about it. And I was so shocked to see so many bikes just concentrated in one area. This is not something normally you would see in the Poblado, La, uh, La Sententa, or the 33 area as far as um, motorcycles. And I think it was, it's more desirable for motorcyclists because they feel like they, don't, they could just park. They don't have to worry about parking and they could hang out with their friends and then go home. So it's a very famous area that a lot of uh, locals go to. I do we recommend you finding yourself a friend to go there if he's going for the first time. But if you want to go there, I, there are cops in that area. But I would say this, guys. You got to be smart. I, some of you guys, I've seen you walking in the street. And it seems like you're just nothing but trouble. <laughs> or you, you, you're, you're not dressed properly. You're dressed, <laughs> to, you're dressed with so much things you don't even need to have like jewelry and stuff like that so I, if you one of those guys that have to feel like you a baller because there's some guys that are like that I don't recommend you going there you know what I'm saying at all all right it's for people that are humble people down-to-earth people that just came to have a good time for the most time when I went over there you know I went right and I broke my leg that day all right long story you gotta watch that video all right but for the most part it's a lot of people just hanging out enjoying the time coming to dance I barely dance Women wanted to dance with me. Everyone was scared. Nobody was scared about dancing with nobody. Everybody wanted to dance. Everybody wanted to have a good time. And the best thing about it is it was extremely cheap. For the most part, for a lot of people, if you do go out of the area of Poblado, you will find prices a lot more cheaper. Although the prices in Poblado area are reasonably cheap as compared to prices in the United States, it's still you will find more cheap areas outside of Poblado area. Now those places I mentioned are not the only areas. There are a lot more areas. As a matter of fact, there are some after hours. I had to shut it down for you. I had to shut it down for you. What? You thought I was just recording landscape when I was in Colombia? <laughs> Stick with your boy. I got more footage for you, alright? So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this explanation. Like I said, I will have a better explanation in detail all those different areas I mentioned, alright, for you. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that, alright, guys? If there's an area that you want me to talk about, just leave a message in the comments below and I will get you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before I leave, you know what I gotta do, right? You know, I got to remind you! I got to remind you to always stay live! See you in the next video, alright guys? Yo!